Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick start guide on how to get set up and started with NordVPN. Now, I'm not going to go through every single thing. There is a lot to NordVPN, but there will be links to a full in-depth review in the description in case you want to go more into NordVPN and everything that it offers. So in order to get started with NordVPN, of course, if you haven't done this already, you would go to their website in NordVPN.com, click get NordVPN, and then you're going to get a few different plans. Depending on where in the world you are, you might have three or four different plan options. You also have two year, one year and one month plans with the two year plans being the cheapest. And if you want to get an even better deal then i'll also have a discount link in the description that'll save you some extra money regardless of which plan you choose once you sign up you're going to be able to go into your dashboard and then on the left hand side you're going to see downloads now this is where you're going to see all the different applications you can download and all the different platforms that you can download them on so here we can download nordvpn for windows you can scroll down we can get the extension for all the major browsers i'm in edge right now and here we have the nordvpn edge extension if we scroll down more you can see that we can get it on Windows, Mac, Linux, and a bunch of other platforms and devices. You can even put NordVPN on your router if your router supports it. So I'm on Windows right here. I have NordVPN downloaded. This is what it looks like. Once you install it, you're going to be able to sign in with the same email and password that you set up on the website. And then you're going to be here. This is the home page, like the dashboard. On the left hand side, you have all of the different countries that you can connect to. Now, NordVPN has one of the most, if not the most, of any VPN out there. You have 165 countries to connect to. You can see all of them in this list. It's probably easier to just search for whichever one you want right here. So we could just type in, let's say, United States. And then we see right there, United States, 22 cities available. You can click on the three dots and then you can choose exactly which city you want to connect to. Now on the right hand side, you're going to have Threat Protection Pro, which is like a mini antivirus. And you're going to have Dark Web Monitor, which keeps track and sees if any of your personal information was leaked out over the internet. Also, by the way, over here, you have specialty servers. And here you're going to have a few different types of server connections for specific situations where you may need a certain type of connection. For example, if you're going to be torrenting, you might want to go with the P2P servers over here, which are going to be optimized for torrenting. Most of the time, though, you can just go over here to the country tab and choose a regular connection and it'll do the job just fine on the left hand side right here you also have this navigation window and here you're going to be able to find more information about those add-ons so threat protection pro you have all the settings over here dark web monitor got the settings right here and these two file transfer and mesh net are actually more about connecting different devices securely like for a more secure remote desktop connection or file transfers but the thing with this is this feature is really being discontinued on december 1st of this year it will no longer be available. So now that you know your way around the app over here, the next thing to do is go into the settings. So on the bottom left over here, we got the settings and here is where NordVPN really stands out. Now I'm not going to go through everything. There is a lot, but I will go through the most important things. Firstly is going to be your protocol. So you would go to connection and security and the first one right there, VPN protocol, you're going to have a few different options over here. Now without getting into the technical details, they say right here, this is going to be how your data travels over the VPN. VPN connection. And it really is about how the VPN connects up to the internet. So depending on which protocol you choose, you may have faster speeds, you may get through firewalls better, or you may just have a more stable connection depending on your network connection. Now Nordlinks is going to be the fastest by far. Nordwhisper is going to be the best if you're on a restrictive network, if you're in a country like Iran, if you're in a school or work where they have firewalls set up. And OpenVPN is going to be the slowest, but it is going to be the most stable across the largest amount of networks out there. So OpenVPN is always going to be the safest fallback. But if you want to make sure that you're getting the fastest connection possible, if you can go with Nordlinks. Now, the other important feature to know about is the kill switch. What this does is it disconnects your internet connection if the VPN ever stops working for whatever reason. So if, for example, you're on a public Wi-Fi network or if you're torrenting is another good example. Any situation where you want to make sure that you're always connected to the VPN whenever you're connected to the internet, in those situations, you want the kill switch to be on. Now, what makes NordVPN special is that they don't just have the standard internet kill switch, which will disconnect your entire internet connection if the VPN stops working. They actually have an app kill switch, which allows you 
to choose exactly which apps you want to disconnect from the internet if the VPN stops working. And this is a really nice touch that you're not going to find in any other VPN. If, for example, like I said, you're torrenting and you want to make sure that you're always torrenting with the VPN connected. But if the VPN ever does drop out or disconnect, you don't want your entire internet connection to be disconnected. You would just want the VPN client to be disconnected. You can go into the app kill switch and then click add app and then choose your torrent client. Now, one more feature that you would want to know about, which is similar to the app kill switch, but a little bit different is going to be split tunneling. And this is pretty much which apps will be connected to the VPN in the first place. By default, everything that you do is connected to the VPN, your entire internet connection. But with split tunneling, you can choose exactly which apps you want connected up to the VPN. So using our torrenting example, if you wanted, you can have only your torrenting client connected up to the VPN in the first place. Or for example, if you're browsing on the internet, you can have only your browser connected to the VPN. So this is a really a useful feature that a lot of people underestimate. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, there is more to NordVPN and you'll get a full in-depth review in the description below. There will also be those discount links to save you some extra money. Nord is an amazing VPN. You get a ton of features, the most countries of pretty much any VPN out there to connect to and some really fast speeds. The only other VPNs that really come close to NordVPN would be ExpressVPN and Surfshark. Express being the more simple version of a VPN, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of NordVPN, and Surfshark being the more budget-friendly and affordable option. You really can't go wrong with any of these three, but if Nord is the one you want, then you're on the right track. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else about Nord or a different VPN that you want to know about. Thank you so much for watching, have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next next one.